Hello and welcome back. The next episode in the series of the Linux installed to the USB stick. Woo! All right. We have Linux installed on this USB stick. This is another one. We have a laptop. A laptop. A laptop. And on this laptop, we have booted up this little USB stick here. This is my USB stick with Jeep Hearted Live Boot. Live Boot installed. We can cover how to do that in another video. I'm sure if you've already gotten here, you know how to make a bootable USB stick to install or use, you know, as a live boot. I'm sure if you've got here, you've already done that. So don't worry. What we're going to do is we're going to take this wonderful USB stick here and we're gonna make it into a USB storage as well as a full installation of Linux to the USB. So we've already installed Linux to it. Next thing we've done is we're gonna to go to our wonderful laptop here and we've got Gparted live booted. And here is the steps we gotta go through. Basically just press enter on each one of these screens. Which language? Yes, yes, yes. So press enter to every one of these. Here we have Gparted all booted up on our laptop here. And we're gonna go into our USB stick. So we go over here on the right and we say, we look for our different things we have plugged in here. We're going to go into plug in our USB stick now that has our Linux installed on it and see if Gparted will pick it up for us. So we'll do that. We've got to go over to Gparted. Refresh devices. And now we can see our 64 gig stick. And there's a very simple operation for this. We're going to click on our partition that is our install. We're going to go resize and move. And we're simply going to drag this to the left. And I like to leave about 16 gig or so. Because that gives me lots of rooms for programs and applications and things and stuff that's in the installation. And that gives me about 16 or 20 gig or whatever to deal with for storage. And we go click resize and move. Next, we have to make a new partition. And we want to make this the new size to be that exact size. You're supposed to make this a different type of partition, but it usually doesn't give you that option, but it seems to work just fine anyway. So I'll make it XFAT and we add it. And then all we got to do is apply all our operations. As simple as that. Click. You want to do this? Yes, we do. And we wait. Depending on the size of the drive, this could take a while. But for this little USB stick, it's probably not going to take all that long. Right. I don't have to do anything else, but press close. And that's it. So now all you have to do is exit out of this. And we're away to the races. And let's try our USB stick. All right. Now we've finished with our partitioning. I've stuffed this wonderful USB stick in our desktop here on the studio bench. And we're going to see what happens when we push it in with Windows. All right, we'll push that USB stick in. Now, don't be alarmed. It may say you want to format a drive before you can use it, but that will be your bootable partition, which on this guy is E. But you see this other partition here on the USB drive, that's drive F. And if you look, it's a regular partition that I can drag and put files to. 
So if I was going to continue a project with this, I could say drop some files on this from Windows, or if I went work and then say I want to work on home with Reaper or things like that, I can drop it on here. And it's a regular USB stick. Then when I pull it out, we put it in, we should be able to boot it up. And away you go. Let's give that a try. And as you can see, this stick is still bootable. Didn't screw it up. It's all good. Now we have booted up from our Zorn stick here and we'll see if anything has changed. There we go. We have a wonderful 21 gig partition. So this is that partition that makes this a regular USB storage device. So you can put this in any Windows or Mac machine or Linux and it will see this partition and then you can transfer files from one machine to another and you still have a bootable OS on the stick as well. So you can continue to work on a project, take it with you on the same USB stick as your bootable installation. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember, comments down below. Subscribe over here. And we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, yeah.